Peace, Nicholas back here. Today we're back with Puppy Linux. Oh yeah, Xenial Pup 7.5. Okay, this is a full install on real hardware. Okay, full install. The box sometimes doesn't work too good, and sometimes it does. So I thought we'd just do it properly. Okay, I put it on a real machine so you know exactly how it works. Now, unfortunately, because the GTX 7, 970 is just a picky, picky card, the 1060, the 1070, 1080 are fine. Just the 970 is just a pain at the posterior, okay, and is very, very picky, okay. So I've put it on this old machine, okay. This is the old Q6600. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four cores, four threads. I know. But this is the sort of thing Puppy is probably made for, really, at the end of the day, isn't it? And I've been doing Puppy videos for nearly 10 years, okay. It'll be 10 years next year. 10 whole years on the tube, I know. What am I doing in my life? Anyway, Pell Moon is your browser of choice when you first install it. But I've done lots of stuff here, okay? Lots and lots of stuff. To first, so I can use it as like a backup machine, basically, at the end of the day. <clears throat> so anyway, it comes in both 32 and 64 gigabyte bit version. Gigab Did I say gigabyte? Oh, my God. It's been a long night, mate. A long, long night. And I'll tell you about it in a second. And can boot both BIOS and UEFI enabled computers. So if you've got a newer machine, it will boot, okay? The ISO is only 330 megabytes still, okay? So that's nice and small. I remember when it was a lot smaller. But as you can see here, you get JWM, that's the classic one, and ROX as your file manager, Palmoon Browser, and Claws Mail. These are all basic puppy stuff when you download PUP, okay? MPV Media Player, simple screen recorder installed by default. And yes, even though you're using ELSA, it will pick up your USB microphones. Yeah, because I've got a USB microphone, okay? Yes, some might be a bit quiet, though. But now here goes the difference, okay? The minimum required specs are a 1 gig CPU and basically 750, 760 of RAM, okay? That's the minimum specs, and they prefer you to have a 1600. So if you've got a Pentium 4 going around, lying around, yeah, and you've got 1 gig of RAM in it, this will be ideal. And I have got one sitting behind me, actually. So I might try on that as well. So I've actually copied it to the hard drive. So it's fully installed. And you can see, I really, really down here, that's my temperature of my CPU, I really, really, really need to reseat that cooler. Because it's a big old cooler I've got in there. And the biggest uh, air-cooled ones you can get. But it's been sat behind me for two years without doing anything. So it's probably going to be a bit crusty, okay? Okay, if you're not sure if you can do, run 64-bit, just download the 32-bit version, and it will do everything you want, okay? Okay, that's the main bit out of the way. Number two, we go to quit bit. <clears throat> I'm going to go here. One of the first things you want to do, once you install, is get some updates. So I'm going to click here. I've already done this, but I'm going to run it for you again, as you can see. It's running super fine. Temperature's getting a bit high. Ooh, baby. Updated. So they've already started fixing it already. Fixes the crash in Numeric, added YouTube downloader. Okay, so you can play YouTube videos if you've got a really old machine and the browser just doesn't cut it. Okay, super duper. Right, the one thing I will say to you, now on this machine, it's a Q6600 and I've got 3 point something gig of RAM in here. But I've got a GTX 750 Ti um, <clears throat> graphics card. Okay, I was running it with a GT520 earlier and it just couldn't cut it really playing videos to be honest with you. <clears throat> now, I've tried both these drivers, and I even checked the drivers I should run. To be honest, the screen resolution, for me, personally, at 1920, 1920 by 1080p, it just messes up the old resolution of the screen. So I've just kept to the Nouveau drivers, for now, okay? So just, just a little bit, you know, just in case you install it and you go, oh no, it's all messed up, that's what happens sometimes with the drivers, okay? Maybe they'll get updated in a uh, a week or so's time and something that work properly but remember everybody's hardware is different okay so that's why i put basically refurbished this machine i put a new psu in it i reseated all the ram cleaned it all got all the dust there was loads of dust in it it was terrible terrible anyway back to xenial pup 7.5 the usual pup stuff so you get file help mount install setup edit console write calc paint draw browse email chat plan Play, connect, and quick pet. And on this particular ball, by the way, <clears throat> I did discover when you reboot 
whatever reboot you do, it can't find that your internet connection and you have to redo the connection. But that might be my board going up the swanee, basically. Because this is the third board I've had for the Q6600. And they are well known for burning out boards, okay? So let's just away. If you've got a different machine, it probably won't matter to you. So I've got right, calc, and paint. So I mean, real hardware. That's how fast it works, okay? This is why a puppy is so fantastic. Them slightly older machines. If you can get to run a, a current machine, this would be so blisteringly fast, you probably won't be able to control it because you won't be able to do it at the end of the day, okay? So, what have I installed? <clears throat> oh, quite a lot, actually. So, we go down to menu. I go down to multimedia. I've installed Clementine, okay? Dun, 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 dun. This will take a little while to come up because remember, it comes from the repos of the Bantu, okay? Right, I've installed a, well, a load of music on here, okay? So this is a 250 gig uh, hard drive. And as you can see, I've only got 166 left because I've got such a large music collection. I'll have transferred it, transferred it all over to PUP. All of it. It's all gone over. Yeah, all of it. It plays super fine. I'll just close that down because I need to be resources up, of course. Right, the Pale Moon browser is fine. Okay, it's all right. Okay, but... If you want to play YouTube videos, it's not going to be the best for you at the end of the day. If I click on YouTube here, and you'll see what I mean. I'll start playing one, and you'll see what I mean, okay? So, if, I better go to me, better not. Remind me later, okay? Remind me later. By the way, I've done three installs of this, just to make sure I got it right. So, so if I put me in, there's me, Sneaky Linux. We'll go to my page, or whatever I'm doing. There's the last one I've done the other day of Solus, okay? As you can see, it's okay. It's not super, but we do get all... See what I mean? Okay. Bear it in mind, I'm recording at the same time. Okay. So what I did... You could install Chrome if you wanted to, by the way. I went and got Chrome, okay? Because you're allowed to get that, okay? And I'll show you that in a minute, okay? I'm going to try and show you quite a lot, actually, but not too much. So we just wait for Chrome to do its stuff. There's Chrome, okay? Now, I'm not sure if it's going to run too well because I'm recording at the same time. Bear in mind, I, this used to be my main machine just over two years ago. No, it really did. So, we'll, do, we'll go to the tube and see what happens now. I'm going to turn my volume down just a bit. Just a tiny bit. So it runs okay at the moment, okay? So, I'll put me in again. Okay. On there, okay. Let's see how it runs this time, okay? On Chrome, this is. Now that is slightly smoother, isn't it? Don't you think? Well, I did anyway. Slightly smoother. When you're not recording, it's perfect. It will do 1080p, no problem. And here's one of my videos. Can I make that smaller? Well, that, make, that makes it bigger, okay? So, no, that's actually stalling it slightly. If we can get the NVIDIA drivers to run correctly, this will solve all this. But for me, it's just not working correctly. At the present time. But it was only recent, a little while ago, so I'm not too worried, to be honest with you. These things will get corrected, yeah, as you do. What else we got? Okay, I'll just go quickly through it with you, and we're going to keep this on on the system, on this machine, basically, and we'll use it once a week or something, I think. Okay, so desktop, you get everything you want here. Look, pup clock set manager, screen save control, blah, blah, blah. If you used Puppy Linux before, you know exactly what you're going to get. Loads of stuff for nothing okay now this is what i might change actually i might change my cpu frequency scaling tool to give me more and more stuff okay once i've reseated that heat sink and fan okay so let's see what machine i'm running on shall we yeah pop info scan let's load them up so my main board okay my cpu there you go it's real hardware install it's no virtual box no boxes nothing like that no virtualization it's the real mccoy the real McCoy. And it is I'm not used to these temperatures because basically on my other machine it's water cooled. It doesn't really go over 32, really. And that really needs to be reseated, really, to be in the day. But yeah, as you can see, that's the machine. Your devices you've got here, so PCI devices, my summary. We scroll down and we should find my graphics card. In the end, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? PCI, PCI, hardware. There we go, the GeForce GTX 750 Ti, okay, and I'm running a Nouveau, as it says here. For a simple reason, it don't look right otherwise. 
I know, I know. I'm really happy with it, really, to be honest with you. And once I start fixing some of these little bugs, it'll be fantastic. Installation takes around about six minutes, seven minutes. That's obviously done with your firewall and everything. The little bug about connection at every start, okay, I can live with that for the time being. But hey, I've got to live with it, yeah. Anyway, back to my manual. So, this stuff is just basically puppet stuff, okay? And I'm not going to show you too much about that because you should know. But in the next video I do on this machine, we'll go a bit more into it. I've done loads of these before, but some of you are new to the channel and you might not know. Okay? So, in business, you get junior numeric. Let's see if they fix that bug. Well, yeah, of course, because it works, okay? End of the day. Okay, network. Oh, see how quick it is as well. Oh, I've also installed Skype for Linux. Okay, it does work. I'm not going to try it out because I don't really use Skype, but I thought, just see if it installs. Yes, it installs. No problemo. If you want to, say, use Scratch, you're going to have to get Flash, okay? Because it runs on Flash. But as you can see here, I've got Firefox, Google Chrome, and Pelman as my browsers. Hex Chat as a chat. There's loads more stuff you can get. Loads and loads and loads. Oh, you know, this is so much. It's unbelievable. Under multimedia. Kazam does not work. I'm missing some G-Streamer stuff. I'll deal with that later in the week and next week when I finish school. School finishes on Friday, by the way, for me. Okay. Clementine works. Lovely. Dead Beef is another player. Double F Convert Media Converter is fantastic. Open Shot for doing my Open Shot stuff. Simple Screen Recorder, because I'm using it now. Asunder for ripping. Audacity for doing my audio. Spotify works. Yeah, no. Spotify works. No problem. It does. Under Fun... You get a couple of games, that's all you get. But if I go back to Quick Pet, and I'll show you a few more things here. Right, okay. Under browsers, I've already shown you, I've already downloaded Firefox and Google Chrome. Vivaldi comes as a TGZ file, okay? And you can do that yourself. You can install Java, the latest version. Skype, I've already showed you how to install it. Just click on it and it installs. Dropbox installer. Pigeon. Ram me, it's an Instagram desktop client. I don't use Instagram personally. No, not me. Corbird is a Twitter desktop client, okay? Taxi. It's a taxi. It's a torrent client, okay? Bitmeter. Keep track of your broadband and network data usage. Mumble and Rambox, okay? You can install the, f install the free full LibreOffice suite here. Chunderbird, Calibra, Scribus I've installed, and Tech Studio. Under AV, as you can see, I've already installed Spotify. Google Earth, OpenShot, Quitter. Should we get Quitter? You know, why not? Let's download and install Critter, and I can have a quick drinkage before we finish the video. Because it's a real machine. Yeah. Oh. Yes, of course I want to install that package. So we wait, and it does its stuff. Bear in mind, this machine is getting really ancient now. It's actually performing really, really well. So if you didn't really want to do high-end stuff, say screen recording at 1080 60, this would do you without a problem, okay? It would do you no problem, yeah. And you can even just leave it on a stick if you wanted to. So, that's the first video of Xenial Pup 7.5 or Puppy Linux 7.5. I like it, it's fantastic. Five out of five, got to be in it, really, at the end of the day. But I must reseat that processor. Oh, that's a bit hot. Sneaky Linux out. I see you later. Bye-bye.